this video, we're going to talk about making some changes using the operations list. So I have this part here on the on the screen that has a bunch of tools uh, cutting some different things. But if we come over here and look at the results window, and on the operations list, here's a detailed breakdown of everything that's happening and also the order that they're happening. But notice here that I have a 3 8 spot drill that is actually drilling this hole or, or spotting that hole. Uh, it's also spotting this hole here. The 3 8 spot drill is also engraving uh, some text up here. And then I cut a pocket, but then I have a number four center drill that's also center drilling these smaller holes. Well, there's no reason that I can't use the 3 8 end mill, the 3, I'm sorry, the 3 8 spot drill to also spot these holes. Okay, so rather than going back and opening up this feature, what I can do is if I highlight this spot drill, I'm going to hold my control key and I'm going to pick these four center drills here or five center drills and I can also see there's another set down here so again I'm holding the control key and I'm picking all these center drills I'm going to right mouse click any over top of any one of these and say override with a spot drill the 3 8 spot drill so the reason the 3 8 spot drill is showing up here is because it's the first one in the list of things that I have selected. So I'm going to say override with the 3 8 spot drill and watch what happens. Say yes. And so notice now that it is uh, using the 3 8 spot drill everywhere. So it's a quick way to make some tool changes without having to go dig over here, find the feature, open it up, not realize which tool you're changing and things like that.